That's good. That's good. Okay, just 1529, turn right 280, you land runway right. 1 at Teterboro. Uh -huh. We can't do it. Okay, which runway would you like at Teterboro? We're going to be in the Hudson. My name's Roy. Roy what? Jervel. A Jervel? Uh-huh. Is that Dane in the background? Put Dane on the phone. I'm oh, not even that supposed is my... You don't tell me to put you, Dane on the phone. You put Dane on the phone right now. Right now. Who Ooh. the fuck do you... I want... Okay. Excuse me? You know, you heard me. Yeah. We, we caught you. I don't do drugs. Well, not I. Hey, not on me. I don't cut hair, ma'am. I'm in the corporate office. Oh, you're in the corporate office. Listen, sure. if you don't believe me, I have the password of the week. Yeah, sure. It's, I'll see you later. It's cactus, cactus fusion. Bye. Right. That's your opinion. I am. The, I'm the property manager. You're an idiot. It's Butt Street. Two point six gigs. I want twenty six hundred hertz. Oh, there you go. Good for you. Yep. Well, anyway, yep. well, anyway, uh, call or send me an email when you can there, Tom. Otherwise, uh, yeah, no need to call anymore about this. Um, uh, my name's Samantha. I'm from the um, Church of the Machine. We're going to eat M&M's, we're going to drink vodka, and then we're going to smoke marijuana. Hey. There, uh, I don't know. Uh, uh, yeah. I know, I heard there you There were the first no time. dum dums anyway. I think you're dum dum. Let me speak to somebody. We always uh, have uh, dum dums on the counter. It's for the little kids. Hey, Mary, this is Brad from Family Video, and um, over on Second Street. Fuck you. You hear me, Mary? Fuck you. Fuck you, Mary. All right, thank you. Goodbye. Hello. Hey, I'm calling to order some of those food stamp tacos. Can I get eight of those, please? Our manager, we have a new manager here. He's having us call everyone up and just let you know, um, like he's the author of a book. It's called How to Lose Weight, The Patterson Way. His name's Frank Patterson. He's going to sign it to you personally. It's going to say Christopher. I shit. I'm, I'm Sensei, sensei fucking Doug. Okay, fucking Doug. Have a good oh, day. Oh, you're going to curse at me now. You're going to curse at me now. Well, why didn't you put the mail back in the box with a note? Oh, don't get smart with me. Oh, oh, I'll, I'll tell you what. I'll, what I'll do with the mail. I'll just sit here. I'll rip it up. I'm gonna rip up your mail if you're gonna get an attitude with me. And, and it, it's looking, it's looking like on this invoice, I'm gonna have to put a retarded asshole fee on it on it as well. Listen, maybe you can call Bob and have gay phone sex. Oh yes. Oh. Hello, Mrs. Cotton. People. Welcome to the Snowplow Show, everyone. Today is May 17th, 2017, and today we're going to call up Petco customers whose pets are currently in Petco, and we're going to tell them that we accidentally euthanized their pet instead of giving them a grooming. Oops, sorry. And then also, hopefully, if we have time on today's show, I've got this idea from Sunshine, and she wants to call people that actually did get their pets put down recently and tell them that we're pet psychics and we have a message from them beyond the grave. Great idea, Sunshine. This should be a really fun show today. This show is going to be sponsored by Daddy News. Thank you, Daddy News, for being a supporter on the Patreon at patreon.com slash phone losers. If any of you would like to be a sponsor of the Snowplow Show, it's pretty easy to do. You just go to patreon.com and sign up for 20 bucks a month. It's insane that people do that. I sure wouldn't do that. So I recommend just sticking with $5 a month because for just $5 a month, you get an extra show every week and you get access to uh, the videos of shows when they're available and when I remember to put them up on the site. So support the show, patreon.com slash phone losers or phone losers.com slash cactus. Either one is a great way to support the Snowplow show and keep the shows happening as much as possible. I don't have any announcements today, so I guess we're just going to get right into the show. But first, instead 
instead of just getting right into the show like I just promised, I'm going to read you this comment from YouTube, which is、uh, very amusing to me for some reason. It's from a guy named Jason, and he says, Arby, is it too far out to claim to be with the local please department? You know, not the police department, but the please department. LOL, just an idea. Love the show, buddy. Hang up the phone. And I love that idea. I would love to be able to tell people that I'm calling from the please department. That's a hilarious idea, but it's also a horrible idea because the people that we're calling, they would definitely mistake that for us saying the police department. It doesn't make it okay if you just pronounce the word police wrong. You can't really pretend to be with the police. It's not allowed, it's against the rules. Go read the rules at phonelosers.com slash rules. This please department thing, that's not a loophole. You haven't found a loophole. You're not allowed to do that because that could still get you in trouble. And I think is what I'm going to do is the next time somebody asks me if I am the police in a prank call, I'll just correct them. I'll say, no, I'm not with the police. I'm with the please department. I'll make it very clear for them so there's no misunderstanding. I don't know if Jason came up with that idea on his own, but that's pretty great, Jason. Thanks for the、uh, comment on the YouTubes. Radio Shack. Computer shopping has never been better at Radio Shack. Here's proof. Our new ultra high performance 386 SX 20 megahertz computer with 85 megabyte hard drive, only $12.99. And it's from Tandy, manufacturer of the best selling PC compatibles in America. Or get a 286 based Tandy home office computer with color monitor and hard drive, only $899.95. Shop your friendly nearby Radio Shack. Great selection, superior service. Nobody compares. Today, we're going to do some more of those、uh, Adopt a Road、uh, phone numbers that Uncle Runkle sent in. He sent in a shitload of these on a spreadsheet. And, it, you know, it's like those Adopt a Road, Adopt a Highway type things. Like a business will adopt a certain stretch of road, and in return, they get a big sign put up. And usually, the, the person or the business, they're supposed to clean up around that section of road. You know, just pick up all the trash along the side of the road or whatever. But it seems like、uh, this program actually provides that service for them because they don't want to actually do any work. They just want their name on a sign on the side of the road. They don't want to actually do anything. So, Uncle Runkle has provided a list of all the business names that have the signs on the side of the road, along with their phone numbers and the name of the road the sign's on and the length of the road that, they're,、uh, you know, that they adopted. It's crazy. He put a lot of work into this. And I know some of you have complained that you're sick of the adopt a road calls. But I don't care. I love them, and I'm going to finish this list. I think it's an awesome idea. I've been wanting to do these ever since the last ones that I did, which were, I don't know, like two years ago, I think, at this point. Those ones that Rob the Hyena got for me. And before that, there was another whole collection of them. I can't remember who gave those to me. Sorry, person who gave those to me.、I'm, I have a bad memory. Anyway, let's get started. Let's call the first number on this list. I think this is like page four or page five or something. Thank you for choosing. Hi,、uh, this is Roy from the, the city. I'm calling about your Adopt a Road sign. Dr. Road sign? No, the, the Adopt a Road. You know, the Adopt a Road, the, the sign that's out there by the road over there on Cherry Hill、okay. Road? Uh huh. You, you know that one?、Um, yeah, I'm just a receptionist. Would you like to speak to a manager here? I'm not sure what you're talking yeah, about. Yeah, yeah, put a manager on the phone. <laughs> Pun intended. What? No, what do you mean? Okay, one moment, please. Okay. Every customer reaps the benefit of the power buying of our volume pricing. Yeah, of course. Hey, Mark.、Uh, this is Roy from the, the city building. I'm no longer Steve Dave due to complaints. I was just calling about your,、uh, your adopt a sign thing over on Cherry Hill Road. Yeah. And are you familiar with that? That lady before didn't seem to know what I was talking about. Well, I called her Adapt a Thing for it. She got to call me. You, I'm sorry, what? I asked a thing for it to do a dot sign. I did it online last week and asked for a quote. Oh, yeah. Well, you already have one up, right? On, on Cherry Hill Road? Yeah, but I want one on 29. Okay, yeah. No, I'm not calling about that. that that's, that's her business. I don't do that. I'm just、oh. calling to let you know that、uh, they're going to be building an abortion clinic, like right by your sign. And, and I, I guess、oh. I'm supposed to let you know about that. Yeah, definitely, yeah. Okay, so that, that's, you know, okay, yeah. that's okay with you then? <laughs> well, can we move the sign? No, no, it's actually it's going to be right by the sign, and it's going to be、um, Abortion Clinic sponsored by、uh, <laughs> Automotive Group. Yeah, can we get that sign moved? No, no, I'm, I'm just letting you know that you're going to get extra exposure now because 
you know, there's always a, a lot, lot of people. Exposure, all right. Yeah, there's always a lot of people in front of the abortion clinic, and there's always, there's you oh, know, there will be yeah protesters and shit. And yeah, yeah, it's going to get more eyes yeah, on yeah. your side. You might actually get news coverage out of this. Yeah, that'd be great. Yep. So I'm just letting you know that uh, abortion clinic's going to move in. Uh, they should be uh, operational within a year. They're getting ready to start building, and uh, they're going to send you a bill for the uh, construction costs. Oh, no doubt about that, too. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. You're going to be uh, responsible for, it looks like, 35% of the the construction costs. Yeah, we lost him. I think he figured it out or something. Good afternoon. Hi, uh, this is Roy from the uh, the, the city building. Um, I'm calling from the Adopt a Road department about your sign. Okay, you'll need to speak with Jeff Whitaker, and he is unavailable. Oh, like his voice balls. Now. Balls, balls, balls. Can't you put me through to his cell phone? Um, I can give him a message. Why can't you just put me through to his cell phone? Just put it through. I can't give out his, his phone number. You don't have to give it out. Just put it through. Just transfer no, the call. Oh, you can. You just don't want to. Would you like to leave him a message? You lazy hoe. I will let him know. That you're a lazy hoe? All right, looks like we're not talking to the boss at that place because the lazy hoe won't transfer me. Thank you for calling. Water, this is Sarah. How may I help you? Hi, Sarah. This is Roy from the city department. No relation okay. to Bob. Uh, I, I'm just calling about your adopt a sign thing over on Air Park Road. What's the sign, sorry? Uh, you guys have one of those adopt a road signs. You know, uh, you for a drink more water? We yeah. drink more water? Yeah, yeah, it's on the side of the road. I, I think they say that you, he has the employees go over there and pick up and stuff. Pick up the trash. Oh, um, not that I know of. Oh, I knew you it. Set us off of Air Park? Yeah, yeah, Air Park Road. Um, For customers to drop off their bottles? No, no, it's it's just you're supposed to clean up all the trash on the side of the road. It's one of those adopt a, adopt a highway signs. Okay, um, what were you wondering well we were just wondering why the road looks so shitty it looks like no employees never go over there and pick up okay let me give me one second okay Wh and where are you calling from i'm calling from the city okay and your first name it's roy no relation roy. to bob gotcha okay give me one second thank you mm -hmm. i'm gonna go ahead and transfer you to our hr manager calling okay okay thank you mm -hmm. I'm talk to killing Hello, this is Colleen. Hi there. Uh, this is Roy from the the city building here, and I, I just calling about your adopt a road sign over on Air, but, Air Park Road. Okay, you said you're calling from the city building. What do you, What do you mean? What well, city? The adopt a highway department. And what can I do for you? Uh, well, we're just uh, they're going to be building uh, an abortion clinic right next to where your sign is, so we're going to need to move your sign uh, over about ten feet. Okay, well, where is that? On, on Air Park? Yeah, Air Park Road. And uh, there, there's a building going up. It's an, an abortion clinic. And we're just going to have to move your sign so that it's closer to the building. I don't think that's a problem. <laughs> I can't imagine. I mean, okay. we don't have any say about where this, uh, where that sign goes, do we? Well, a little bit, yeah. But it's, it's, it's okay. It's, it's not a big deal. It's not in the way or anything. We're just moving the sign closer. Closer to what? Because it's right now down near Shady Grove. Yeah, it's just right. It's going to be moved. It's like not even a block. It's just going to be moved up a little bit, so it's closer to the the new abortion clinic that they're building. Basically, it'll okay. it'll it'll be like a, it's called Reynolds Abortion Clinic. A big sign, and then right underneath, they'll see your sign. It's, uh, you know, sponsored by Water. Oh wait, is our sign okay? Hold on. <laughs> Is our sign directly underneath the abortion clinic sign? Well, is not, that what you're saying? Well, it isn't yet, but we're going to move it so that it is. Yeah, well, who, I, I'm not, I don't think that that's appropriate. Well, why not? Why would it be? Well, what's wrong looks, with it? What's wrong? Would, would it not then look like water is supporting an abortion clinic? I'm not saying either way, but well, doesn't it look that way? If if you don't care either way, then what's it matter? I mean, I mean, yeah, it kind of it's, it's going to seem like that because it's going to be right by the building. That's why we're moving it closer. We're gonna yeah, but you make it sound okay, Roy. What's your last name? Zerbel. 
Cervell. Uh huh. Okay. And can I have a phone number for you? I just um, I kind of want to check this out. What, what, how can I reach you back? Uh, area code three zero one. Uh huh. Four two zero six nine six nine. Okay. And you're with the city of Gaithersburg? Correct. Yeah. Yep. I'm just calling okay. to let you know about the abortion clinic. Uh, they're going to have that um, the building put up within the next six months. Okay. And, um, and wh- where exactly is is it going? The abortion clinic? Yeah. Oh, I don't know. I'm not totally familiar with uh, Air Park Road, but I think they said it's like just on the same block. They're just going to move the sign down the road. You know, not even a block, just so it's closer to the abortion clinic. Because the other building over there, they don't they don't want to be associated with it. Ah, okay, yeah, and and I'm not sure that we do either. So that that's going to be a problem. Yeah, well, <laughs> well they asked first. Well, well, you made it sound like you were just moving our sign so that it, you know, was a few feet from wherever it is now. But you we didn't are. say that it's going to be on the same sign as the abortion clinic. Well, this the the your sign is just going to be uh, in front of the abortion clinic. So it's going to say Reynolds Abortion Clinic in giant letters, and then down below that, Rentals, Rentals Abortion. Yeah, rin- Rentals. That's your thing. Yeah, that's the uh, the name of the company, and then right outside their window, it's going to say, uh, you know, Adopt a Highway Water. You know, your company name. Yeah, I would need to see what that would look like. We 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 need it's to gonna see look how that would look. Fucking awesome is yes how it's going to look. It's going to look what? Fucking awesome, because of the color okay. the color scheme and the nice building that they're putting up. And, and okay. Uh, well, based on your language you just used, I'm going to need to call the city of Gaithersburg about this. Okay. Why? Because I don't appreciate you, you know, using profanity with me as we're talking about this. Oh, so really? I'd so, like to call the city so, of Gaithersburg. So, and so, then, so, um, so, I'll so, get back so, in touch so with you. You support abortions, but I can't curse. Wow, what a what a hypocrite, I guess. So that idea, it was uh, sent in during a live show. I mean, it was pasted in the chat room. It's from Siza MVO. I'm probably pronouncing that wrong. He says to tell them an abortion clinic is being built on said highway or a sex toy shop, and they will need to pay for half of the cost. And I kind of feel like I should try that one again, maybe with the sex shop instead of the abortion place. And I don't know why I said Reynolds abortion shop. I, like, I don't know what the fuck that means. And she thought it was rentals. That was great. And by the way, that wasn't like a city water company. I think that was one of those companies that refills those big office water bottles or something. I'm just assuming that uh, the business name, I I bleeped it out, but that's kind of what it seems like it might be. The next people are CPAs. They have a weird phone ring. Econ and Company. Hi, uh, this is Roy from the city. And I I was calling about your your Adopt-A-Road sign over on Trevillo. Trevilla Road? Uh, I know that was not a very professional, uh, but... Oh, it's okay. <sighs> I'm unprofessional <laughs> all the time. <laughs> but you threw me for a loop. This one's new. Um, yeah, this well, is an accounting firm. Yeah, yeah. Um, it looks like you guys have a, an Adopt-A-Road sign over on Trevilla Road. Has your co- company name on it, and you guys are oh. s- supposed to keep the road cleaned up and everything over there? We do. Yeah, yeah, maybe, um, is there someone else there that, that knows about it? I'm not sure, but tell you what, let's start again. Okay. So, tell me why you're calling about the adopter road sign, and hopefully it's not to tell me I need to clean it, because, good Lord, we're going to have a problem. Oh, no, no, nothing, nothing okay, like good. that. Of course not, no. No, there's been okay. a, there's actually been a Bigfoot sighting over by the sign. A what sighting? A, a Bigfoot, you know, Bigfoot, the mythical uh, creature. The big animal? Well, he's not. Well, he's more he like a, a man than an animal, but he's hairy. Well, all right. So it's not my husband. We're good there, huh? All right. What kind of pot are you smoking? Because I want some. Uh, I, ma'am, I'm a Christian. Me too. Well, not if you smoke pot. Um, I, I, just I do a whole lot of other things too. But oh, what, hey, like meth? back to Bigfoot. Meth, all cocaine, right. heroin. What, what do you do? What do you do? Oh, you name it, anything for a good time. Okay. But we're getting off track here. Back to Bigfoot. How much? Uh, how much for a gram of coke? I don't know. I don't sell it. Oh well. I mean, how much do you pay? Oh, shit, I thought you that's know, why you were calling for a new. To just give it to me. But then again, I've never tried it, so hmm. hmm. I don't know. Best yeah. to stay away from it. You know, something yeah. about that commercial. This is your brain. This is your brain on drugs. Oh, that Always scared the shit out of me. Bullshit. Well, th- why do you do drugs then? Ah, they're fun. Yeah, and I true. believe in sinning. Sinning's good. Yep, yep. 
Fuck God. Yeah. See, well, I'm, I'm not going that far. I'm not trying to get struck down before I even make it into the parking lot, for God's sakes. Hey, you just you took know, the na- you. name of the Lord yeah, in you vain know, I'm going to leave it's, you on that one. Wait, wait a minute. Wait. You, you just took the name oh, of the no, Lord in vain. I'm having way too much fun to hang up on you, so keep no, going. What? No, no, I'm not telling you to hang up. I'm just say- Okay, never mind. I'm hanging up. I give up on that lady. She's, she's impossible. I should have told her that. You're impossible, ma'am. <sighs> All right. Uh, a mortgage company is next. Good afternoon. It's James. Hi, James. This is Roy from the, the city. I was calling about your Adopt-A-Road sign over there on Hawks Road. Yes. Yes. How are you? Not too bad. Um, did, did you uh, Have you watched the news today about what they found over there? Uh, I have not. Okay, all right. Yeah, I'm just I'm supposed to call and let you know uh they found uh some sort of a creature over there. It's dead, but it was right underneath your sign. Uh it's, they're 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 saying Bigfoot. I don't know if I believe that, but they're saying it's some sort of a Bigfoot type creature. Okay. And um they're just going to need you to uh uh foot the bill for the investigation and the autopsy. Okay, and what are we looking at bill was? Uh, looks like it's going to be right around thirty five hundred dollars, but you only have to pay forty percent. Forty percent. Yeah, of thirty five hundred. And I don't have a calculator, so you figure it out. Okay. <laughs> um, I've not checked that. I will. I will look into it. Okay. Yeah, but you know, if it's Bigfoot, you you could end up being famous or whatever. You know, you can take it on the road, do like a traveling circus type thing or whatever i think you'd be uh they'd let you have part of the profits if they sell it to science or whatever as long as as long as my sign is there that's all that matters okay oh oh that's that's kind of a problem though because uh, as a part of the investigation you know he died at your sign so they want to make sure that there was no uh lead paint or anything in in the posts so they they pulled up the sign Oh, they pulled up the sign. Yeah, they pulled up the uh, the the poles and everything. They took the whole thing. They're gonna make sure it's not, um, you know, didn't contribute to the death. And if it did, uh, you're gonna be charged with murder because he's a mammal. Okay. okay? He's not, okay. Not, now, what, what else can I do for you? Not just he's not just an animal like that other lady said. But she was on drugs, you know. Uh, anything else I can do for you? No, not really. What are you typing? Are you typing my phone number into your computer? Nope. What are you typing then? Um, just cruising around. What? Just what? And you are you are with who? You you typing an email or are you just typing in a Google search? What what is it you're typing? Just shooting an email, I think. Are are we done? Who, who are you emailing? Nobody. That's weird. Why why would you email nobody? All right, Dave, is there anything else I can do for you? Don't you have any friends? Well, I'm going to... Damn it. I got a little sidetracked on that one. Sorry, you guys. You didn't seem too upset about the whole thing anyway. Uh, That was an idea from John Jay. And I think I did that on a live show already. Yeah, I definitely did. Remember I was talking about chupacabras and... No, this is Freddy. Hey, Freddy. This is Roy from the city. And, uh, hey, how are you? Not too bad. I'm just calling about your uh, Adopt a Road sign over on Cashel Road. Uh, yes, sir. And um, it looks like uh, are you familiar? You're familiar with that sign, I guess. Are you the person that takes care of it? Yeah, yeah. We maintain that road for years. Okay. All right. Great. Um, well, they they've changed some laws about how close a sign can be to the side of the road. And it looks like yours is overhanging maybe two inches too far. So could you run over there with a hacksaw or something and just shave off two inches? Are you serious? Yeah, yep. It's uh, it's just a new law. It's not nothing we did. It's like a state law that they passed. And no, but the Adaptive Road Program does all that for us. Yeah, but, you know, we, they didn't take into account that um, some of the signs might be a little bit too big. So they just want you to shave off a good two, two and a half inches. Uh, otherwise, they're... And who are you calling from? Where are you calling from? I'm calling from the, the city the department here at the Highway uh, Adopt-A-Road department. And uh, they're going to file uh, they're, they'll file charges against you if you don't do it. Yeah. I, you know what? This that, call sounds kind of sketchy to me. Well, if that causes a wreck, you're in big trouble. Aw, oh, come on. He, he hung up on me, called me sketchy, and just hung right up. And that was an idea from Rev. 
uh, that, you know, another uh, live show idea that was in the chat room, and I copied it, and it's sitting here in my notepad. And I, I'm starting at the top of the list, so I think some of these ideas have definitely been done already. Like this next one from Mr. Krabs, he wants me to say that a deposit of uranium was discovered under their sign. I can't remember if I ever did that one, but we're going to do it now. I don't think I ever got around to this one. Good afternoon. Jesus. Thank you for calling EPA. How can I help you? Hi there. Uh, this is Roy from the, the city department. No relation. Mm-hmm. Uh, just, just calling about your Adopt a Road sign over there on Sligo Avenue. Yes. And are, are you familiar with that? Are you the person that takes care of the sign? Yes. Okay, great. Um, it looks like a, a, a deposit of uranium was discovered underneath your sign, and uh, they're going to start mining for it uh, next Monday. Mm-hmm. And uh, you're you're going to need to uh, contribute um, to uh, the cost of mining equipment for uranium. And it looks like the cheapest uranium mining machine is right around $35,000. But the good news is, if you get a lot of it, it'll pay for the machine. It pays for itself. And you can just buy a bigger machine and get more uranium. Okay, this is something that you're going to have to speak with my supervisor about. Oh, I thought you were the person that handled the sign. I am I am one of the people that handled the sign. Oh, just not but the now we're speaking finances, one. and mm. that's the decision that he'll have to make. Ah, makes sense. Yeah. Yeah, just it, it's uranium though. I mean, that stuff's expensive. You'll probably make money in the end. And what's it's, your name? Uh my name is Roy. Roy from the city building, no relation. What's your and, last name? Uh, Gerbel. And you said you're calling from the city? Yeah, yeah, the the city adopt a, adopt a road department here at the city building. And I have nothing to do with that Dobelina character. They fired him, so just just so you know. The, the listeners uh, didn't your, approve. Uh, I'm sorry, what? What's your telephone number? That's uh, 301-420-4200. Mm-hmm. 6969. Oh, yeah. Okay. And you say uranium was found under the sign? Yes, a large deposit of uh, pure uranium. Okay. I'm pretty sure they, they, they said something like uh, they're trying to give me a visual of, of how much uranium it was, and, and they said it's enough uranium to destroy the entire Earth. Okay. I will forward this information to him, and that's a I lot of uranium, you know. You called. It's a ton of uranium. Okay, I will forward the message to him. But more than a ton. You know, mo- enough to destroy the world is what I'm saying. It's a lot. Okay. It's a lot. This is, this, okay, well, the world is not destroyed right now. I know. But this is a I, matter I that you will have to speak with okay. the owner about, right. and he mm-hmm. will further assist you with this matter. <laughs> That's what she sounded like. So that was Mr. Crab's idea, as I mentioned before. And I like that one. I think I'm going to try that one again. I just looked on the bottom of the list, and it looks like he suggested that again. But he said, um, uh, you know, a toxic waste truck tipped over, and they need to come over and help clean up. You know, put on a hazmat suit. Thank you for calling Electric David speaking. Hey, David. This is Roy from the city building. Uh, I was just calling about your Adopt-A-Road sign over there on Brickyard Road. Uh Uh-huh. And uh, are you the person that takes care of that sign and everything? Um, no, that would be the owner, Jim Fab. Okay, does he send you over there to do maintenance occasionally? Because we have sort of an issue. Okay, what what, what issue do you have? Uh, well, there was a, a truck uh, carrying uh, uranium, and it tipped over right right underneath your sign. So uh, you need to get over there and uh, clean that up. Like uranium? A, yeah, uranium. Do you have hazmat suits there? <laughs> no. Oh, well, um, you're going to want to, I don't know, wear a, a scarf over your face or something. I hear you. Yep. Uh, your name again? Uh, my name is Roy. I, I'm with the city. No relation. City of? Oh, hold on. Let me check the spreadsheet. Uh, looks like I'm with the city of uh, Potomac. Huh. Yep. City of Potomac. Yep, yep. So, uh, you know, just uh, get on over here uh, as soon as possible. Clean this shit up. Well, Roy, yeah. I hate to tell you, if it's a uranium spill, 
I think you're going to need uh, the EPA and uh, other people. Oh, hey, 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 look, look, we know how to do our job here, and you're the one responsible uh-huh. for this. You signed up for the sign. You need to get over here and clean this shit up. Bring, bring uh, a, you don't need to use that language with me either, sir. So well, you, you you need to not argue, and you need to you know do what your con- tra- contract I'm not states arguing, here. I'm just stating some facts. Oh yeah, you just argued that. Good job um, arguing. <laughs> thank you very much. Anyway, you know anything else I can do for you today? Well, you haven't done anything yet. You you need to get as many people as you can sure, together I've, I've and taking your concern. I've listened to you, to the issue. Yeah, but, but you're not going to do anything about it because you're lazy. Like, like what is Lazy, it? Like, yes. Yeah, what, I don't want to be. I don't want to be uh, sterile either. Working with the uranium. Well, I, I don't think anyone wants you to have kids. I'm sorry. Nothing. What are you doing? That's so, so important. Somebody doesn't want me to have kids. <laughs> it's too late. You misunderstand. But you okay, know what? It's maybe too... maybe it would be good to be sterile, picking up uranium at the uh, roadside. Why? Where is that sign located anyway? Why do you hate your kids? No, I don't hate my kids. Well, it sounds like you do. You're saying, you're saying you don't, maybe it would be good to be sterile so you wouldn't have any more? Well, yeah. At my age, at 55, I don't think I need any more children. Around. Okay, then what are you even bitching about? You know, it's like, who cares if you're I, I, sterile? Again, I'm, I'm not using that language, but... I didn't say you were. Uh, I am, though. Yeah. I'm just like, fuck it. I don't give a shit. Yes, you are. <laughs> What else can I do for you today? Ah, uh, you keep asking. Do you, do you have that any even, money for me or anything? Uh, no, it's your responsibility. You signed the paper, so get over here and clean your shit up. Get your shit out yeah. of the street before you get a ticket. Out of the street? I thought it was by the sign. It's well, the, you know, guess where your sign is? It's next to a street, idiot. Uh, well, now you're getting personal. Not really. That wasn't personal it's at because all. Because I have a learning disability doesn't mean you can call me an idiot. Yes, it does, you idiot. No, it doesn't. Totally I'm does. I'm Donald Trump on you. Oh shit! Not that. <laughs> Anything but that. Yes, sir. Get James Comey over there. Oh shit! He's fired. Yeah. Fuck yeah. that. Yeah. Whatever what am I gonna he do? said. Okay. Can I put well, you into Jim's voicemail so you can leave him this pleasant message, or are you just messing with me today? Oh sure, yeah. If you want to put Jim's voicemail on, I'll uh, I'll go ahead and leave a message. All right. Well, what department were you from? The Adopt a Road Department. And what was your name again? My name. Uh huh. Sam Schinkel. Oh, yeah. It took a long time for you to come up with that. It did. That, that was like a good two seconds. I'm an idiot, remember? Yeah, yeah. You, your learning disability and stuff. My learning disability. Yep. All right. Well, Roy, mm-hmm. I will send you on over. Okay, thank you. Have a nice day. All right. You too, Roy. Bye. Get, get over to the sign and clean up. I don't really want to leave a voicemail. I don't know what I'm doing. I usually hate when people play along, but that guy was pretty amusing. <laughs> I like him. I want to go hang out with that guy. You have reached the mailbox of... Jim... Shit, hold on. At the tone, please record your message. When you have finished recording, press pound or simply hang up. Hey there, Jim. Uh, this is Roy from the city department building here at the adopt a highway department city machine. And uh, I'm just calling to let you know that your sign's dirty, and you know, get over here and clean your shit up. You know, we 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 said we clean up the road, but we didn't say we clean up the sign. So get over here, bring a rag and a can of pledge, clean this shit up, motherfucker. Okay, thank you. Have a nice day. There, I hope that amuses them both. I'm sure it will, or at least it'll uh, it'll amuse uh, Sam, whatever his name was. I'm not sure what kind of sense of humor Jim has. I mean, Jim. Thanks for that one, Mr. Krabs. I'm going to delete your idea now and move on to the next one. Hello, fine. Hi there. Uh, this is Roy from the, the city. I, I'm calling about your Adopt-A-Road sign. Okay. Um, are you familiar with that over there on Bud Road? A little bit. Uh, probably you want to speak to Bernie, though. Would you like his cell phone number? Okay. It's uh, 301. Mm-hmm. 471. And that's Bernie? Yes. Okay. All right. I'll give him a call then. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Bye-bye. Well, that was nice. For once, uh, some um, employee somewhere just gives me the cell phone number of the owner. Doesn't make a big deal of it like it's a big national security secret. Like, oh, no, someone's going to have a cell phone number. Hi, this is Bernie Mim. Hey, Bernie, this is Roy from the city. I was calling about your Adopt-A-Road sign over there on Bud Road. Uh-huh. 
And uh, there, there was a guy, uh, I guess earlier today, he was driving by there and he was reading your sign and it distracted him and he kind of like swerved over into the other lane and hit someone. Okay. And uh, he just needs your uh, insurance information so he can file it with his insurance. Uh, do you have that handy? What? You gotta be kidding me. No, no, not at all. He, he just... Uh, yeah, he just yeah some... you're kidding me. No, no, I wouldn't kid about something Kiss like this. my ass, man. What? Insurance. You give me your name and your address and your insurance information. Well, How about that? Why would I Sucker. do that? I wasn't. I, w- I didn't cause the wreck. Oh no, he hung up on me. Let's try back one more time. This is why that lady shouldn't give out Bernie's cell phone number when people call in. What was she thinking? Yeah. Hey, don't hang up on me. I just need to get your insurance information, or we're going to take down your yeah, sign. Yeah, seriously, seriously. Do not call. Okay. Do okay. not call. I'm not going to talk to you, motherfucker. I'm gonna Don't call- try to rip me off like that. Who do you think I fucking am? Some hey. fucking idiot going to give you my insurance Hey, why don't you shut the fuck up, motherfucker? You think motherfucker? I'm a fucking idiot? God you got to be it. fucking kidding me, buddy. No, I'm not kidding at all, but uh, wow, that was some... Nah, he's gone. Okay, I give up. Well, I don't know. Did, did he say to call back? I, I sounded like maybe he did. Um, here, let's try one more time. This is the last time I'm blocking your fucking calls, buddy. You don't say. You think I'm a fucking idiot? No, sir. I, I'm calling. Think? I'm calling to apologize for for prank calling you. No, I don't think he heard that. All right. Oh well. Holy crap! I think I need to give that number to uh, Matt Hillock. He'd have fun with that guy. Hey, Matt Hillock. I'm not crossing this one out. If you want it, let me know. Oh, and that idea was by uh, Fosco Grub. He says you crashed your car into their sign, and you'd like for them to pay for the damages. And I definitely want to try that one again. I don't know if I should. Maybe pretend to be the person who wrecked their car, or if I should just be the city again. That seemed to work out okay. Painting may help you. Hi, uh, this is Roy from the city. I'm calling about your Adopta Highway sign over there on Jones Mill Road. Yes. And um, are you the person that's in charge of that? Uh, no, I'm not. Um, it would be Neil. Do you? Um, he's not in the office at the moment, but I can take a message. Oh, okay. Well, I can just take a cell number if that's all right. Uh, I'm not allowed to give that out. Oh, okay. That's probably a good good idea, because I was going to curse. Okay, so what, what's going on? Uh, well, I just needed to let you know that um, there was a, a person driving over there by your sign, and they, yeah. were, they were reading the sign as they drove by, and it distracted them, and they kind of just, uh, you know, drifted into the oncoming traffic and got hit. Aww. So, yeah, yeah, um, they just want to get your insurance information. For the sign, the sign is the county sign. I mean, that's through the county. Well, yeah, but it, it has your uh, your business name on it. It's you know, it's an adopt a mm. road sign. You adopted it, and it's your road, all the way yeah, from. I think you have to call east. the county about that, honestly. Oh no, no, I'm I'm calling the right person. They want to get your insurance information so they can uh, repair their car. Like three no. three cars and were I involved. Think that in they're they're in charge of their operating the motor vehicle has nothing to do with the sign sign wasn't in the road i, I know but it, it's a, it dis- yeah. they, can i get your name please he said it distracted him because the the name was so weird hmm. and uh yeah he just he, you just want to get your insurance information that's all yeah just get no, your, i don't think so uh well you don't have a choice you know they're, they're gonna they, oh yeah well what's some, your name someone's got to pay for this car r- repairs on these three oh, three vehicles uh-huh. Yeah, well, whoever went into the wrong side of the road's got to do that. Well, maybe you shouldn't have put your sign up there where it's distracting. Oh, uh huh. Yeah, I. You yeah. know what? If you want to give me your name and number, that'd be great. If not, I can uh, just kind of move on. Well, my number's on caller ID. You know, learn how to read a caller ID display. Durr. Excuse me. I'm, I'm just just saying it's right there. You know, just look at your phone. There's my number. What Are num- you here in this office? Do you see what I have in front of me? I know you have caller ID because it's 2017. Oh yeah. Yeah, yeah, I'm right. Uh huh. It's right you know there. What? Just look you know down. What? I think that um, look. I am going to file a harassment charge. Unless okay. You give me your name and number. All right. Before you do that, maybe you should read up on how to use a modern telephone. Oh, uh huh. Goodbye. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> okay, I'm getting harassment charges filed against me now. It's all Fosco Grub's fault. Thanks, Fosco Grub. Hello, this is Jeff. Hey, Jeff, this is Roy from the city. Uh, I was just calling about your Adopt-A-Road sign over there on Tuckerman Lane. Yes. Hi, how are you? Not too bad. How are you doing today? Good, thanks. See everyone I asked. Uh, it looks like there was a, um, a car wreck over there by your sign today. There was this guy, he was reading your sign, 
and he got distracted and he just kind of drifted into uh, oncoming traffic. Seriously? Yep, yep. Seriously, it's uh, it was it was a mess. Two cars involved. Uh, he just uh, wants me to get your insurance information so he can you know get his car fixed. That's pretty funny. What? That's pretty funny. Is it? It's it's not too funny. I mean, you know, two people are in the hospital. If you think that's funny, I, I think you're a pretty messed up person. I don't think it has anything to do with me. Well, it's your sign. He got distracted reading your sign. Okay. Thanks for your call. No, no I need your... <laughs> okay. Man. Okay, I'm going to try that one one more time. I was hoping for harassment charges two times in a row, but no luck. And this is Kale. Hey, Kale, this is Roy from the city department. Um, I was just calling about your Adopt-A-Road sign over there on Glen Road. Mm-hmm. And are you the person that takes care, takes care of that sign? Uh, no, and I'm not sure who to put you in touch with. Um, maybe I should put you in touch with um, our um, ground superintendent. Okay, do it. But I'm not sure. Do it. Uh, Let's go. Hurry the fuck up. Uh, who is this? Uh, this is Roy from the the city. Uh huh. Yep. Okay. Um. He he he's best reached out his cell phone. Um. Can I give that to you? Okay. Um. Three zero one. Mm-hmm. Nine two. Okay. And who is that again? Um. Eric. Eric, okay, great, great, and um, whoa, 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 I was just trying to trick you out of the cell phone number, and it worked. I did it. I don't. Okay. All right. Well, uh, thank you very much. Have a nice day. Yep. You're welcome. Goodbye. Bye. All right. Let me quickly call up Eric before uh, he's warned by that guy. Hello. This is Eric. Hey, Eric, this is Roy from the the city. I was calling about your Adopt-A-Road sign over there. Hey, how you doing? Over there in Glen Road. What? We're missing Adopt-A-Road sign. You're you're missing the sign? We're missing, well, we had two foundation signs. Uh Uh-huh. And the one that was, uh, I guess the one further, I guess it's west, um, closer to Travella is MIA. Oh, okay. Well, yeah. You're you're going to have to pay for a new sign then, I guess. Oh, man. But uh like okay. I I guess uh, the, must have liked it better than us. Yeah. What were you calling about? Well, the one on Glen Road, that that one's still there, right? Yeah, well, there're two on Glen Road. So we 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 have the stretch of Glen Road from I don't know what it is. It's uh Looks um, like east it's some I forget the name of the little street there's a housing development there, but Great right there, Elm Drive. That one's there. Hey, shut up. What Great Great Elm Drive to Three Sisters Road. Yeah, Great Elm Drive, right? And then you go the other yep. way past Bridge or just before Bridgeton. Uncle there Uncle was, was very was thorough. Actually, just past the, it was actually past Three Sisters cuz you have a ah. new uh well, yeah, the new one that, that came up is the um Rustic Road Adopt the Road. Oh, I see. That came up. Yeah, there, there, there was a car wreck in front of your uh, sign today. The, the oh, one, I guess, man, I didn't see that. Oh, no, yeah, you missed out. Two people in the hospital. It's a bummer. Oh, oh that's a bummer. Are they okay? Do you know? Uh, I don't know, but uh, they just want to get your insurance information because they were looking at your sign when they got into the wreck. And uh, they, you know, they just need to get their car fixed. That's all. My insurance. All right, you have to send me an email because I'll have to send it over to our accounting person to to give them that information. Okay. Yeah, they just they need hit your... our sign. So those. So we own those signs. Yeah. Yep. Yep. They're they're all yours, and uh, you own all the cleaning up in the area and and everything else too. And, yeah, uh, you we know, clean uh, up. We won the award, I, and I don't know about that award. Is it a good award if you pick up more bags than anyone else, or does that just mean you have more trash? You, you know, else? personally, I think it's fucking stupid, and who would bother? But. I don't know. <laughs> well, let me give you my email so you can send me the information. I feel bad that they hit our sign. Now I have to replace two signs, right? Yeah, so yeah, will I yeah. be able to contact you for that? Or? Well, they didn't hit your sign. They they just got distracted, and they just kind of drifted over into oncoming traffic because they were, they were reading your sign. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah. yeah they didn't touch your sign. That, that's a, sure they did. Well, you know something? People drift all over. It wasn't the cell phone or the texting that they were doing, though. Hopefully. No, no, it was completely your sign was completely at fault. 
So uh, they they just need to get your insurance information. So uh, it's like two cars need need repaired, and uh, two people are in the hospital, and there's going to be a lot of hospital bills. Like at least one of them doesn't have insurance. And who are you? Who are you again? Uh, My name is Roy Gerbel. I'm with the city. The city. Which city? We're not in the city here. Uh, Aren't we in the unincorporated area of Montgomery County? Yeah, but it's uh, it's it's uh, I'm just with the county county office well you can't be with the city and the county right? oh i can be with it's anything i want um, I, I i know my geography yeah yeah and the cities are in the county so i can be in both if i'm in the county but it's located in the city then i'm in both stupid okay don't call me stupid roy um i'm not stupid well you're just being kind of stupid no, I've worked for unincorporated counties, and I've worked for the cities, and I've worked for the state, and I've worked for the federal government. So I think I know a little bit about the geography and how you, who pays your check, okay? So if you would like to send me an email, I'd be more than happy to forward that information to the correct people. Would you like it? Yeah, sure, okay. What's your last name, Roy? Zerbel. Just so still. I don't end up in, how do you spell that? So, you know, I'm just, if it ends up in my spam, I want to be able to find it. G-E-R-B-I-L. Okay, and what agency do you work for? Um, with the county city. No, that that can't be true. Ad- adopt because uh, what agent? What department are you in? Well, I'm I'm in the uh, adopt a highway department here with the county city. Okay. Yep. That's interesting. All right, do you have my email? Because uh, you should. Yeah, I got I it already. Emails very frequently. Yeah, yeah, hmm? yeah. It's a real problem with you. They're they're really um, kind of wanting you to cut it out. Cut, stop sending emails with my totals? Well, you're just kind of irritating about it, the <clears throat> the way that you do it and stuff. Like, you know, just your commentary and, uh, I don't know. It, it's not, a, it's not none of my business. That's not my department. I just do the adopt the roads. Okay. Well, I'm, I'm glad you called me. I'm, I'm really sad that this happened. So if you would send me the information, I'll definitely pass it on. Okay. Can I have your phone number so in case something happens, I can get back to you? Uh, yeah, look on your caller ID. There it is. I don't have caller ID, sir. Well, really? What kind of phone do you have? Doesn't matter. Just give me your phone number, please. Well, it seems like weird that you wouldn't have caller ID in 2017. I mean, that that stuff's been out like 25 years now. Everyone has it. I don't have it. I'm sorry. It must be being blocked for some reason. Get with the times, Eric. So what's your phone number? Uh, That's 301-420. Mm-hmm. 69.69. All right. Well, thank yeah. you very much, Roy. All right. Appreciate th- the call. Thank you. Have a nice day, stupid. Oh, I didn't hear me call him stupid. Damn it. You know, I'm only, uh, I don't know, maybe halfway through this list, a little bit past halfway, but I'm going to have to quit. You know, it's, it's getting late. I have to put the show together still. I've been doing this for like an hour and a half. And I know people just complain all the time when I do too many of these Adopt a Road shows, but I think we're going to have at least a couple more here because that was just half of a page right there. A lot of people answered. Hey, you know that guy that gave me Eric's phone number? I should call him up and see if he's talked to Eric yet. That might be amusing. It's been a couple minutes now. Thank you for calling. It's currently open Thursdays through Sundays, oh, except for on. holidays, from 10 a.m. to 5 p.m. All right, uh, he's not picking up the phone. He's probably on the phone with Eric, so it's just going straight to voicemail. And speaking of voicemails... Hey, Roy, it's Lard Lord. Okay. Hey, how about calling a, calling a business that's got a really terrible Yelp review and making a complaint that's eerily similar to one of their worst Yelp reviews? And then maybe if you can get the guy to jump through a few hoops... Okay. Maybe he could be a good boy again. Who's a good boy? Okay. I'll okay, bye, Roy. Try to remember to do that. That actually sounds like it could be fun. I remember, like, do you guys remember a subway a few years ago? I posted about it a few times, I think, on Facebook. Just this completely insane lady that ran a subway up in Portland had the craziest negative reviews ever, and we kept trying to uh, call her up and say wacky things to her, but she just wouldn't fall for anything. I even went up there and ate once while you guys pranked her in person, and she didn't care. She just let the phone ring. So yeah, she has nothing to do with what you're suggesting, but if she had been hilarious, it would have had something to do. I don't know. I'm just going to go to the next one. Hey, Steve Roy, Chad, Dave, Johnny Boy here. 
I was listening to the May uh, 15th show. I believe it was titled Saturday Night Morning Lawn Work. Yeah, whatever. And there was this like particular prank you were playing on no this like, kind of a smart lady who refused to put her husband on the phone. She kept coming with logical comebacks, like when you said that the... Like when the rocks would disintegrate with the chemical agent spray, she was like, "Oh yeah, I don't lady. believe you." And you're like, "Why?" And she's she like, "You could just remove the rocks." I think she majored in chemistry anyway, like or something. Anyway, around 1920 mark, or common 19 sense. minutes and 20 second mark, I suddenly realized that because you know that voice, the way she talks, you know that signature vocal fry. I think you might have pranked none other than Hillary Clinton. Oh shit! Go back and listen, man. It's uncanny, okay. especially around that nineteen twenty mark. I'll do Thanks. that. Goodbye. I don't know. Should I do that right now? He he told me the exact place to go listen. Let's go see if he's full of shit or not. I'm gonna go over to youtubecom slash phone losers shows. And pick the latest one. Cool and, uh, ah, and then we're gonna go to nineteen twenty. That's what he said. So there, nineteen sixteen. Here it goes. Let's see if this lady sounds just like Hillary Clinton. Oh, I don't. I, it sounds like uh, I just need to wait and see. Hmm. Yep. What's yep. going to happen with our yard? Yeah, and the house. Don't forget the house. The, ho- the whole house is just going to collapse into the basement. In fact, I it's, don't believe you. Why don't you believe that part? Yeah, yeah. I think I think uh, you just made me realize that I have no idea what Hillary Clinton sounds like. But based on Kate McKinnon's portrayal of her in Saturday Night Live, I I think it's pretty close. I think that could be Hillary. So I'm going to go ahead and totally agree with you. I'm pretty sure that was Hillary Clinton that I was talking to. And I bet you the Secret Service, they like looked into me and stuff after that phone call. They wanted to make sure I wasn't a threat. But then the FBI was like, nope, that's our jurisdiction. Brad Carter's ours, motherfucker. Stay away. Hey, Brad. It's E. Kolak uh, with a K. K is in night. I know. I know that's not how you actually spell it, but it's my personal handle. Yeah, so, stupid. Like, I can spell it wrong if I want, you know, to be unique. Okay. Sometimes you spell your bell wrong when you talk to people. No, I don't. Anyway, um, I have partially, partially a request, partially a suggestion. The next time you call people and say the Chinese government is doing that something, instead of Chinese government, try saying the Chinese Communist Party. Uh, oh. Without getting too far into the you know, political aspects of it. The Chinese Communist Party is kind of interesting. Oh, and then here we go. They only make up 10% of the Chinese population. All right. They're not even really communist anymore. I don't care. Been since the past Whatever. Years or so. My eyes so are glazing I've over. It's written in the Constitution of China that the purpose of the Chinese government... I'm playing with my fidget spinner now. The party, which, if you think about it, is really backwards. Because in any other country, the party... <sighs> All right, well, this voicemail goes government. on for another 36 seconds. And I'll do my best to remember that. I, I won't say the Chinese government next time. I'll say the Chinese Communist Party. I think I can remember that. Oh, Brad, you're such a troll. I fucking love it. Bye. All right. Thank you, whoever you are. Hey, Brad. Hey. Brad, it's Baloney Maloney. Hello. Holy fucking shit. Brad, uh, I wanted to call you and just tell you, um, why don't you just shut the fuck up? Hey. Just shut the fuck hey. up. No, no reason for Brad, that. Brad. Come on. Shut the fuck up. All right. Okay. You can't do it, can you? Just nope. shut the nope. okay, fuck fine. I'm up. Okay, fine. Turn it off my mic. I can continue <sighs> talking while you tell me to shut you the fuck up. You little motherfucker, you. All right. That's it. So long, fuck boy. Thanks for the voicemail, Baloney Maloney. That was a great one. Hey, Brad. It's Nico. I was just uh, refreshing my mind on the PLA's rules of prank calling. And um, I just noticed it in here that you still have uh, the uh, prank call recipients listed as victims. Uh-oh. Should you be changing that to recipient or call recipient or something like that? Recipients. There. Anyway, that's just my question. Let me know what you think. Bye. I think I'm lazy. I think I'm probably not going to ever get to that. And it's Roy recipients, not recipients. Who says recipients? And I probably will get around to that eventually someday. But I have a lot of things to do on my website right now. I have like a big list of things I've made I need to do. And I never have time to do any of it. So I'm probably just going to never get to it. This is AT&T operator, operator 4269 with a message for Brad Carter. Okay. Hey. And this message. 
Yeah, your, your quarter tones, they didn't register for some reason. They showed up as $5 bills here on my console. This is AT&T operator 426-969. What? With a Again? Uh, message for Brad Carter. Uh, Here's the message. That's probably a better idea. Uh-oh. End of message. All right, so if any of you are listening to this episode on your uh, telephone from the 1980s, I apologize for whatever just happened. Hey, hey, um, Brad, uh, this is, um... Well, um, this is uh, President's Middle Singers. Uh, what? I'm a sort of long-time listener, first-time caller. Uh, I just want to say you're so great. But God damn it, Thank do you. more uh, gym uh, pranks and uh, homeowner uh, association pranks. Come on. Uh, okay. Quit with the lunk alarms and... Uh, I was doing non-stop homeowners association a few months ago, and everybody was complaining about it. Or I guess like right after the FBI raid, I remember I used pretty much nothing but that one list that just went on forever of homeowners. But it's kind of been a while. I think I need to get some more uh, of those done. You know, cordings, planks. It's gonna let you know. So um, okay. Hi. Right. I can't do carding yeah. pranks yet. It's not ding timber yet. Oh, oh, hey, uh, I forgot to say cactus. Uh, I called. Uh, oh yeah, that's important last to time. do. So I want to say cactus, cactus. Okay. <laughs> wow. <'Cause> cactus. <laughs> Thanks for uh, taking up another 17 seconds with that. That was great. Hey, RB. I just had some fun making my own uh, Roy Coy roofing calls, and I found a little loophole. You go to forsalebyowner.com. I called all the places in my town. And, you know, did the regular route. Uh, that's breaking the rules. You need to go to phonelosers.com slash rules and read about all the reasons you shouldn't prank locally. And it gives you the pictures of the houses and the street address and everything. So you don't really need, you know, submissions or home phone number. Just people, people selling their houses. And then you just go and call them up and give them shit. That's awesome. Have fun with it. Okay, what was the site again? Here, let me go back. On the little loophole, you go to forsalebyowner.com. I call it all the places. All right, forsalebyowner.com. I'm going to write that down and maybe give it a try soon. Hey, Brad, it's the user fan with PH. Um, so something mildly humorous, maybe just a tiny bit. I, I don't know. I- oh, that was weird. It cut off after six seconds. So whatever was mildly humorous, well, we'll just never know. Thanks for nothing, user fan with the PH. My hand's stuck in the garburator. Oh, no. I'm glad you could call in and remind me that it's called garburator and not garbagerator, like I was saying on that one show. So that was all of the current voicemails. Let's listen to just a couple more of the older ones, because it looks like I still have like a week's worth of voicemails from April <clears throat> that I haven't Hi, played Brad. yet. This is, um... New Hampshire guy all the way in the east. You may have heard of it. Holy shit. Uh, anyway, I just gotta say I love the show. <clears throat> the show, The Saturday Morning Blasphemy, Thank I think you. it was, with you and Sunshine. Wow. The bit with the, with the rebellious teenager. That's had an old one. That, w- that wasn't from April, was it? Famous that was a like long time ago. For her, he could not stop laughing. Oh, anyway, thanks. I have a request. Can you please bring back the pizza calls? Those were hilarious. Yeah. The love of God, bring them back. I miss the pizza calls. Thank you, and have a wonderful day. I miss all of the calls where I would get customer info and call up people, but I think it might be for the best to just kind of lay off of those for a while until I find out what's going on with me and, and my whole thing before I start doing stuff like that again. I've mentioned it a few times, but I think I want to um, talk to an attorney once all this legal craziness is over with me. And find out exactly what we're allowed to do so we just know for sure, one way or the other, if certain pranks are okay or not to do. Because I sure don't know, and nobody else really knows. We need to figure this stuff out. Hey, Brad. I listened to the full episode of the phone show you put on the feed. And I just want to say that Rappy McRapperson was right when he said, Turn it off, it fucking sucks. Aw, Rappy, did you really say that? That was not a nice thing to say. Just for that, I'm going to play one more voicemail, and hopefully it's a nice one. Hey, Brad, I was listening to the voicemail section of your last show, and you were talking about uh, embroidered products, um, yep. and you called it a cozy. It's a fucking koozie, Brad. What? A koozie. Nuh-uh. Someone add that to the list of words that Brad cannot say. So long, fuck boy. I don't think I believe you, because I have definitely heard people call them cozies before. Isn't it spelled cozy, like C-O-Z-Y? Maybe it's a regional thing. I can't think of a single example, but I swear I've heard this. 
I didn't just make this one up. Or maybe I did, I don't know. Now you got me doubting myself. You know what, I just, I give up on the voicemails. I'm gonna end the voicemail section. I know that's gonna upset a lot of you, because you love the voicemails. It's everyone's favorite part of the show. But I think it's time to end it and uh, end the show. So thank you, everybody, for listening. Thank you, Daddy News, for sponsoring today's show. And if you're interested in sponsoring a show, you can do that by going to patreon.com slash phone losers or phonelosers.com slash cactus. Either one gets you basically the same thing, which is nothing at all. Just extra shows and stuff. That's all. But it's good for the show. It keeps the shows happening. Hopefully it makes more shows happen eventually. I mean, it does. You get an extra show every week if you uh, pay $5 a month or more. So support the show. Tell your friends. Annoy your family with it. Play the prank calls for everyone. And I will see you all next time. We're going to end today's show with another one of those songs by Greg. You know, he's done the Chumbawamba. He's done the holy bully, woolly bully. Still don't know how that's pronounced. That's like me trying to pronounce cozy or something. Uh, this is Greg's latest creation. This one is called Nancy. I need to borrow your car. Hey. Thanks, Greg. Did you drive a car today to work? Do you drive a car? What time are you off work today? Nancy? This is uh, John from the corporate office with 7 Eleven. And I need a ride. And I need a ride. No, I am. I'm from the corporate office with 7-Eleven, and I need to borrow your car. Did you drive a car today? Do you have a car there? And I need to borrow your car. I want you to have the keys out and ready when I get there, because I don't have all day. I'm not going to sit around and talk to you about it. I'm from the 7-Eleven corporate office, and I need to borrow your car. Nancy? I'm your boss. Just a minute, and I'm going to get the keys from you. You don't have a choice. Nancy? You need to stop lying to the corporate office. I'm your boss. I just need to go over to the bowling alley. Nancy? It's only gonna be for like 20 minutes. I'm, I'm not taking your car, I'm just gonna borrow it. I'm just borrowing it. No, I am. I'm from the corporate office with 7-Eleven and I need to borrow your car. Did you drive a car today? Do you have a car there? And I need to borrow your car. I want you to have the keys out and ready when I get there because I don't have all day. I'm not going to just sit around and talk to you about it. I'm from the 7-Eleven corporate office and I need to borrow your car. I'm sorry, you're telling me my employee is a robot?